Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In the last video, I was talking about relative layouts. I said how it's like a wall and you stick your controls on the wall like a chewing gum, right? And you stretch it from all sides and stuff like that. So far, we have been discussing about some attributes that define the relationship between your view and the parent. That is the relative layout. Now and then we also saw that if we add a text view on top of a button, it gets added on top by default and we have to specify the relationship between them. So let us actually look at some attributes that define the relationship between two views. So here you have your rule, your XML attribute. Now here the XML attribute does not take true or false. Instead, you give the ID of the view. Now we guys are going to see what this ID is and stuff like that. So don't worry if you don't understand what it means right now. And here are the Java value. Now again, if you're creating a relative layout using Java code, then these are the constants which are inside relative layout class that you should be using to create the same effect in, t in terms of your appearance. So let's define the rules. Define the relationship between two views. That is our rule. So what are the attributes? They're above, below, to left of, or to right of. Then these are the Java values for each of them. Just like I said, here you simply specify that, hey, this should be above that, that should be to the left of this, and stuff like that. So that's what we are doing. So here, let me show you some example and get you guys up and running. Here, I have a button. And if you see this text view, which says what? It's right below the button. Now, how did I do that? Very simple. I specified that the text view should appear below the button. Now, how do I write that in code? It's very simple. Have the button first, give it an ID saying at the rate ID slash button. That's the first step. And in the second step here, go to the text view. You want the text view to appear below the button. So use this attribute layout below on the text view, right? And there for the value, specify the ID that is this button over here. So this means that, hey, text view, please come below this guy. And who is this guy? It is our guy over here. That is the button, right? Now, if you notice something, there is at the rate plus ID slash button written over here. And there is only at the rate ID slash button written over here. Now, what is the difference between them? Remember, when you're defining an ID for the first time, here inside button tag, you're using plus sign. But here, you're not defining anything. You're simply referring. You're telling your text view that you should appear below this button who is already existing, right? Who's already created above. So for that, you simply use at the rate ID slash button. Now remember, I have not talked about resources so far in my course, but as we go on, hopefully I'll talk about resources in a lot more detail than what I'm saying right now. So I hope you guys have understood something about this. It's pretty simple. Let's see more examples. Now I have the same button over here. All right, there is, the, there is an ID of saying at the rate ID button and I have a text view. Now what happens is here, I want the text view to appear above the button. So what do I do? I simply say Android layout above equals to who about whom I should appear above the button right and this is linked over here that means your Android understands that hey text view he wants to appear above this button with this ID right that's how things are linked but if you see the output over here you guys will be shocked well there is only a button and there is no text view what the hell is going on right by default your button has been placed on the top left corner as always so when you say the text view should appear above this button so what you're trying to do is you're trying to push the text view out of the screen. So Android is going to create the object, but it's not going to draw it or you won't be able to see it. That's what happens. All right. Now, how to pay, place the text view above the button then? It's very simple. You have the button and you have the text view above the button. So for that, why define above? Instead, make the button appear below the text view, right? Very simple. Make the text view, make the button and specify that the button should appear below the text view by saying Android layout below inside the button, right? Let's see and do that. Here, I have my text view. I've given it my ID, which is at the rate ID, my text, right? And then here inside my button, I simply tell the button that, hey, you should appear below this guy. And who is this guy? Well, it's this guy, right? It's the text view. And that's how the button appears below the text view. So I hope you guys have understood something out of this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next bit about relative layouts where I discuss more attributes. Have a nice day.